Hi everyone, Electro here. Just making a video about a uh, hot topic at the moment, which uh, is catalytic converters. And in particular, a point of conjecture, which is about um, the need to preheat them or not. Now, I've been using catalytic converters for about 20 years now. I use them on the back of a furnace to treat the noxious fumes, basically, when you're doing a burnout cycle, instead of letting them go out in the air. Um, I treat them with catalytic converter. Uh, this particular one is rather large. It's a four inch by four inch um, converter, and as you can see, this particular one has a heating element in it. Um, that's the base of it there, which screws into the bottom, which is a fan, a fan unit, and this is a heat proof plate. It basically goes on the bottom of the unit there. The, f the fan unit bolts onto the bottom and uh, it blows air around the outside circumference of the converting unit and the furnace air which comes off the, the back of the furnace is channeled through to the inside area where the heating element is with the catalytic converter on top of it. Now from the, the top view there you can see there now, as the air comes up the top here, it'll form a venturi effect, which will, in turn will suck the gases out of the furnace through the catalytic converter and out into the air. Now, that has the effect of treating the noxious fumes that are coming out of the back of the furnace during a burnout cycle. The reason this has a heating element in it is because, now, as we know, which I didn't know beforehand, basically, and I take no claim to finding that, but um, with hydrogen, oxygen and uh, a catalytic converter, it can create heat. Now this is an old converter uh, module out of an old scrap one I had about six or seven years ago. I scrapped it, but lucky I kept that. I can use it now, because like I said, I didn't know about this effect before. But anyway, um, the, the heating unit in this, because the, the gas has come out of the, the, the back of that, now, in a burnout cycle in a furnace, most of the noxious fumes are formed at about between 200 degrees or 150 degrees and 400 degrees. So while that's 400 degrees in the furnace, out the back here or through the catalytic converter, that'll be room temperature. It won't be hot, hot, hot at all. Uh, the reason that the heating element is because in this function, the function of the catalytic converter is to treat the noxious fumes from the exhaust gas of the furnace. Now, in the furnace exhaust, there is very little oxygen and hydrogen present. So the function of the catalytic converter is somewhat different to a heating application. So you're dealing with a gas which doesn't have hydrogen in it, or very little, and very little oxygen as well. So in order for the reaction to take place, it has to be at a certain threshold temperature. Now, as I said, the gases won't heat the elements or the converter up enough to reach this, temp this threshold temperature. So a heating element is introduced to aid the reaction in purifying the noxious fumes. Now, in a car, it's the same sort of thing. You've got an internal combustion engine making gases which have some hydrocarbons left over, but not many. Anyway, not enough to sustain the heating reaction in a catalytic converter. But the heat is supplied from the heat of the exhaust. Therefore, in a car, you don't need a heating element because the catalytic converter will be brought up to temperature because the hot exhaust gas is actually forced through. In this situation, it's not. That's why in a, in a situation like this, it is preheated with an element. In a car, the catalytic converter is preheated through the temperature of the exhaust gas. Now, mind you, the application is different. In a car, the catalytic converter, its primary design is to treat the exhaust gases to reduce emissions. It's not to make heat. If you take a catalytic converter and you're using hydrogen and oxygen through it, it will produce heat, as Neil and Justin have shown, but 
the application in a car isn't to produce heat, it's to treat the noxious fumes. Therefore, that's why they need to be preheated, because hydrogen isn't present in the system. Now, as I said, there's, there's been a lot of people talking about um, whether you need to do it or not, and I suppose the answer lies in, in the application you intend to use it in. If you intend on a heating purpose, and you've got hydrogen and oxygen available, no, you don't need to preheat it. The reaction from the hydrogen and the oxygen will sustain the self-heating process. But like I said, in a situation where you need to treat gases, which don't have those elements in them, uh, in order for the color to convert to react, it has to be brought up to a threshold temperature to let the chemical reaction occur, I suppose, with the gases going through before they're expelled. Anyway, hope this helps. Post your comments. Bye for now.